Welcome to Car Design Academy, where we help aspiring designers master the skills and technology necessary to succeed as an automotive designer through live, online training and personal mentoring. Today we're going to focus on the front end of the vehicle and the different kinds of designs and the kind of emotions that they convey in the front of a vehicle. We're going to focus on sedans today and we're going to be sketching uh, what I would call a front 7 eighths view, which is uh, where the vehicle is turned mostly to the front, but slightly to the side. So you can see a little bit of the side of the vehicle. And that's so we don't have to worry about drawing uh, a symmetrical front end. So uh, we're going to start with the sedan. I'm going uh, to draw two sedans. One which is going to be uh, a traditional uh, gasoline powered or petrol powered luxury sedan. And then I'm going to do another one that is uh, a more futuristic electric sedan. We'll talk about some of the design elements between the two that are similar and, and the design elements that are very, very different. So we're going to start with this luxury sedan, this, this uh, petrol powered or gas powered luxury sedan. And I'm going to set up a box which is turned mostly to the front. And so my, my vanishing point for the front end is going to be way over here, way off the page. The, the, the side is going to be uh, vanishing uh, near, near the top corner of the, of the page. So I'm going to be setting up two boxes, one on top of the other. I'll be sketching very, very, very lightly. Keep it light until it's right. And I'm also going to be really emphasizing the tumble home. Uh, and then I'm also going to be drawing uh, what's called the plan view or the curvature of the bumper. I'm going to be drawing a water line too that runs just along the tops of the wheels. And that just, just kind of helps to, to create a structure for the front of the vehicle. I'm going to draw my wheels, which are going to be um, almost closed ellipse. Then if you remember on a, on a luxury sedan, the A-pillar kind of points towards the, the center of the front wheel. So I'm going to go ahead and, and sketch that A-pillar, my, my roof line. And you can see how my A pillars really taper towards each other, and that's because of, of, of tumble home. Again, that's the, the glass, the side glass angling in from the front view. So that, that would be the, the side glass right there. Since this, this is a petrol powered vehicle, it's going to have a fairly high, a high bonnet or hood. Yeah, so we're not going to be talking about brands right now. So we're not talking about, you know, is this a German brand or is this a, an American brand or an Italian brand? We're just talking about a petrol powered luxury sedan versus an electric sedan. So the petrol powered vehicle is most likely going to have a large, a, lar a fairly large grill or air intake. And it'll also have a fairly large opening on the bottom of the vehicle. Just sketching a, a, a fairly generic grill shape, but just to give you a sense of the scale and position of the grill versus the lamps. So we're going to see very little of the body side in this view. 
But this is a great view also for communicating the stance of the vehicle. So how wide are the tires planted to the ground next to the cabin of the vehicle? It's a, it's a fairly challenging view to do. Takes a bit of practice. And, and then really how we, how we lay out the elements of, of the front end, the, the lighting, the grill, uh, any sort of accent lighting or fog lights, that's what's going to communicate the brand of the vehicle. You know, so we're not, we're not getting too deep into, into brand at this point. Just talking about general proportioning and layout. Adding some some details to the to the grill, some kind of emblem. You can see the, the, the bonnet is quite quite high. That's because it has to clear the engine along with uh, any sort of crash safety requirements, such as pedestrian impact. So for example, when a, if, a, if it were to hit a pedestrian, need, the pedestrian needs to be able to contact the hood in a way that is not going to run into any, any really heavy components under the hood. So that'd be a, a sort of generic um, luxury sedan front end. And contrast that with a, an electric uh, luxury sedan, something, something that's a bit more futuristic, something that's a bit more contemporary, but also a vehicle that doesn't have a traditional engine. So it doesn't have the, the same requirements for cooling the engine, like, a, like having a big radiator or having a big grill. So you'll see with a lot of electric vehicles, there's no grill at all. Uh, but the, the lighting details start to take on a bit more of the character of the front end. So I'm going to sketch a very similar front end, this time going uh, the opposite direction. Again, sketching two boxes, one on top of the other. I'm also going to sketch curvature of the front end, the plan shape. I'm going to sketch my ellipses. I'm going to sketch the uh, cabin of the vehicle. And the A pillar kind of pointing towards the, the front wheel. making sure those A pillars taper in towards each other because we have tumble home. And so since, since the vehicle doesn't have, since the car doesn't have a conventional engine, doesn't need to have such a, such a big grill. And so a lot of times we'll see uh, the lights play a bigger, a bigger role in the character of the front end. I'm 
make sure we have a, a good center line. The, the, the hood can drop a little bit because again, we don't have any uh, solid components under the hood. So in the absence of a grill, a lot of times you'll see other, other design elements become more, more uh, prominent. Like so, for example, things like uh, corner lights. Or uh, brake ducts, things like that. So this, this car might have a little bit of a sleeker, sleeker cabin for more, more aerodynamics. So how we treat the elements of the front end say a lot about uh, the not only the brand but also the expression or the intended purpose or the technology uh, beneath the hood. So it's very important that we uh, develop, a, uh, develop our skills in, in presenting this front 7 8 view, but also to really start to think about the design elements that we put on the front of the vehicle. So even without really getting into the brand, I'm able to communicate a more traditional design versus a more futuristic design, a petrol powered vehicle versus a, an electric vehicle. And so getting, getting these front elements in the right place is very, very important. It's almost like a human face, like we have eyes, we have a nose, we have a mouth, and how we communicate our emotions and our expression to the world is all in how we, and how those shapes and forms, uh, are, how we manipulate those shapes and forms, right? So it's very, very important that we get the shape of the front end right, because that expression is, is very much a reflection of the person behind the wheel or the person who owns the vehicle. So think of it that way, and uh, we're going to get into some SUVs and some sports cars, and we're going to explore a bit more about uh, front-end identity. If you're looking to take your car design career to the next level, you need a mentor who can show you the way. Go to www.cardesign.academy and book a free discovery call. We can help you map out a strategy to master the skills and technology necessary to succeed as an automotive designer through live, online training, and personal mentoring. Whether you're just starting out on the journey or you're looking to level up, subscribe to our channel and be sure to follow us on Instagram at cardesign.academy.